So guys, summer started, baby, with a blast. And I know it's hot in some of the areas where you guys live. And it's hot in freaking New York all of a sudden, like the past week or so. But I work in midtown Manhattan, guys, right by Times Square. Right where the ball comes down on New Year's Eve. Right there in the smack of Broadway. Uh, you know, I brought up here, you know, I mean, in New York, but I mean, and, uh, you know, it doesn't, it's not the same as to what a tourist might think of it coming here for the first time. If you've never been to New York, guys, if you've never been to New York, you've got to come for a once, twice, three times, you know, a lady, because it's remarkable in what they've done. And I don't, I don't really go by there too much now because, I mean, I've been there a million times. It's just packed, you know. Top's finest. There's so much to see in all the nudity and everything. Like they got this, what they call those girls desnudas. That's the name. They ones that dress like American flag and they're topless and they paint their babugas and the gagagis, you know. And you could take a picture, you know. What I mean, but it's, it's remarkable. You don't see that in freaking Podunk, right? All right. Anyway, I'm not going to show you nothing if it's not worthwhile. But I'm going to. I try in a case here, guys. The prices are going up on this shit too, right? So, Mike, oh, you didn't do half the on your cases, right? And again, I'm not going to show you, you know, the, like here's a Chris Bryant insert. I mean, nice looking card. And, you know, the, the base cards, here's Correa. You know, sleeve them up, put them in a dollar box. There's rookies. There's some shit autographs here, guys, and there's some good ones. There's the judge. There's all the other rookies. And there's numbered cards, like here's a DJ LeMayu. This is number two, 250, whatever color that is, you know, just to show you. Here's refractors. So I'm going to have a lot of dollar cards, a few eBay cards. And yeah, maybe I'll get a, pull a couple of cards for the PC. You know, here's a Martinez. Who's this? Is this JD? Yeah, JD, numbered card, blue. You know, there's different autograph colors too and all that, you know. But the judge, that's what you want, the freaking judge. You want the judge or a trout order or a low number. The finest is very popular every year, you know that. But again, popular with the price tag, you know, after a while. Like here's a gold refractor order, number to 50, a Trevor Story. That's nice, right? Number to 50, Trevor Story. He's not doing what he did last year. And I just sold the Bowman's Best autograph on eBay the other day. I got 1750 So, I mean, again, that same card I think I sold like six months ago. I got like $30 for it. So, everything is relative. Now, I don't know if I should even sell it right now. I think he's still a young enough kid that he'll bounce back. So we'll see. We'll see. And here is these inserts here. I mean, I don't know what these are. Anthony Rizzo. What do they call them? Breakthrough. But it's an insert. This case hits. I'll get a few. And then it's sleeving time, baby. It's sleeving time. Do you guys like Finest? I mean, if you did. Now, here. Now, what do you think you get for this nowadays? What do you think you get? What do you think you get? Well, if you don't know, it'll be on eBay because I don't collect Jason Hayward. But he's a cub. He still don't get nothing. Right, Mike? How much you get for that card? And his other rookies, Mancata. You know, there's different colors. That's the regular. Here's a Harper. The Harper's a refractor. Harper refractor. And here's a greenie. The greenie's a number two. I don't know. I can't see. 99. It's a Hunter, Hunter Renfro, number to 99, rookie refractor. I think the cards are pretty. I mean, you know, I, I didn't go nuts with it last year. If I, if I think I did a case last year, I think I did a case or two. No more than that, I promise. I promise. Here's Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. Nobody can say it like Pepino. Hey, Jay, how's the kid doing in the Little Leagues? I mean, you know, the other day I was at work, I put on YouTube, and, you know, you got that uh, introduction to all the kids sitting around saying what time it is and all that. And I had the volume up high. I didn't know I had it up high, right? So the freaking thing comes on, and I'm eh, screaming like a bitch today. I mean, everybody looks at me. I was embarrassed, you know? My bad. All right, guys, that box is over. Ciao.